everyone, so as you can see from the title, this is my what's in my hospital bag video. Um, I finally got it packed, I know it's a bit late, 38 weeks, um, but at least it's done now and we are ready. I mean it's been mainly, most of it's been packed, I mean if I had to go to the hospital in the last couple of weeks it wouldn't have been a massive problem, there was nothing major missing, but I just wanted to get a few more little bits to put in there so I think it's pretty much done now and I just wanted to show you what I'm taking because I'm taking a lot of stuff it seems so the first thing is obviously birth plan I have that um, here so I'll be taking that I will also be taking my V pillow hopefully for breastfeeding or just if the hospital pillows are not very good and then I've also got a separate bag just with all of my towels in. So I've got some dark towels and the baby's towel as well. They wouldn't fit in my hospital bag, so that is separate. And this is my hospital bag. It's quite big and heavy. It's very full. But it's just a big holdall from Primark and it has this... Um, extra section at the bottom and then just the big zip at the top so I'm just literally going to take out first things I find and I'm sorry if this is a long video I've got a lot of stuff I'll try and be quick first thing is just a small pair of slippers don't really take up much room can fold them in half and we're about four pounds from Primark then also have my dressing gown and that is rolled up just quite a thin dressing gown because I know labour wards are quite hot I've been told and even though it's November I get really hot anyway so I don't want to be too hot so it's not it's fleecy but it's quite thin I have two nursing bras black and a white one that I'm taking I have my nighty this is just a long sort of dress jersey dress really um, stripey that I already had and then I also have a pair of pyjamas so I just have a pair of these black lounge pants um, just really comfy and I got I mean a size or well, two sizes bigger so that they're going to be really comfy these are a size 14 and I'm still fitting into a size 10 at the moment um, but I just wanted to be, you know, extra comfy, especially if I have to sleep in them because I don't normally wear pyjamas to bed, I find them really uncomfortable. And then I've just got a little night top that I got from Primark as well and it's got the built-in support because I thought obviously your when your milk comes in, depends on how long I'm in there, um, but also for when I'm home. Um, just a little bit more support for my boobs when they're quite painful would be a good idea. Then have just my baggy top to come home with and some leggings. Um, my leggings aren't actually in here, they're drying at the moment. Um, but that's just what I'll wear home, just this top, leggings, my coat and some flat shoes. There's nothing, no point being too fashionable. I then have two packs of, now these are, I mean I suppose they're maternity towels, and they don't actually say maternity on them, they're just maxi towels, but they are enormous and they are really thick and they're the nighttime ones, um, so they are for a super heavy flow, so just have two of those for afterwards. Um, I also have two packs of disposable maternity briefs because if I bleed quite a lot, this is really gross, um, but if I bleed quite a lot um, and I'm wearing these I can just take the whole lot off and throw it away rather than ruining underwear and things like that. Um, but I am taking a handful of old underwear as well um, just in case. So. Obviously I don't know how long I'm going to be in there, I'm hoping to have a natural birth with no complications and I could be out within six hours so most of this stuff I won't need but I have packed a little bit more just in case. I also have breast pads just in case my milk does come in if I'm in there for a couple more days 
and I start leaking. I'm already leaking, so I'm sure I will need those. Got some tissues just because, you know, you never know when you might need them. You never know when you might go to the toilet and run out of tissues. So I always have tissues with me. I also have a vitamin E face spray. Um, I love the smell of this and I know sometimes if you during labour you can get really hot um, and this is also really good for drying skin as well for if you are, um, you know, the ward is really stuffy. So I've got this just to spritz on when I am in labour, when I get hot. I've also got nipple cream. Um, I've got a cheap one at the moment because I didn't want to go and buy the expensive one if I don't really need it because I might not be able to breastfeed as much as I'm hoping to. Um, so I've bought this one. If I can breastfeed or if my nipples do get really, really sore and cracked, I will go and buy the um, other one. But I just thought this will be fine for the couple of days that I'm in hospital. I hope. <laughs> I do have an empty spray bottle, again this will, I've heard, come in handy for going to the toilet after you've given birth because I've heard it can be quite painful and you won't be able to wipe, um, so use a spray bottle or I can pour it over to help soothe that area, so that's just an empty bottle. Then have my iPhone charger very important because I'll probably won't take the camera I'm not sure yet um, depends how much of a rush we're in if we remember we'll take it but if we don't we'll both just probably use our iPhones because um, I think the camera on them is good anyway so definitely make sure that's charged up I then also have this is what my travel bottles came in um, but I'm just taking it empty because I heard a really good tip that when you go to the bathroom to shower and you know do your makeup and hair afterwards or whatever you do just pop your keys phone money and everything in here and take it with you so you can see it's all in there um, rather than leaving it at your bed just in case um, so I thought that was a good idea so I just thought I'd take that with me then in the little zip compartment here I've just got some sort of like medical supplies I guess um, well this isn't really medical this is the mama baby bliss bliss stick uplifting oil and this was about six pound fifty I think and it's an aromatherapy oil on a rollerball smells amazing and you basically put it on your pressure points um, to give you uplifting feeling and sort of wake you up and I've heard that it's really good to use during labour to kind of keep you going and also really good to use afterwards when you're a new mum and you're tired and you're feeling it um, really good to help uplift you so as soon as I saw this I knew I wanted it so I ordered it the other day and that is going to be in my labour bag hopefully to help me through labour and when I'm a very tired new mum I then also have just some energy release tablets. I used to take these before I got pregnant. Um, I haven't taken them during pregnancy just because they didn't make me feel that good. Um, but I've got them for afterwards just in case I'm really, really tired um, because I did find they helped. So just some vitamins. I then have my... Arnica cream and Arnica tablets. Um, I've heard Arnica is amazing for bruising and aching afterwards, um, so I will definitely be taking those for after the birth. And then I just have some little samples I was sent of these nursing pads um, and the Multimam intensive nipple treatment. Um, so if my nipple cream isn't good enough I'll just use these until I can get to buy the more expensive nipple cream. And this is a little bit embarrassing but I've been told to bring laxatives um, because if I end up 
something goes wrong and I end up having a cesarean um, or even if you just um, tear a little bit and need stitches during labour. Um, I've heard going to the toilet can be quite uncomfortable so you just need something to help you. So I'm just taking those just in case but hopefully I won't need those. That is the main compartment empty. That is empty and then in the bottom I have got um, nail polish remover pads. Now I know this is a little bit random but I want a water birth hopefully and I've been told my hospital won't let you wear nail polish on your toes in the water birth, in the water pool because it marks the pool or something. So obviously depending on how my labour goes these are just in here in case I've completely forgotten to remove my nail polish, which I'm sure I will have when I'm in labour. It's not going to be the first thing on my mind. Um, just so before I get in the pool, I have something to quickly remove it. And, you know, I don't want them to say, no, you can't get in because you've got nail polish on. So I just thought I'd buy these and chuck them in just to be sure. I then also have just a really old pair of flip-flops. And because I'm a bit funny about public showers and things like that I will wear these in the shower um, so I'm not barefoot in the shower I know they clean it and everything but it just gives me peace of mind so the flip flops for the shower I then have my very bright spotty bikini um, because if I do want a water birth I'll probably be in my bikini I might have my nighty over the top I'm not sure um, but like I said, I get really hot, I'm always hot, um, so I might just want to be in my bikini in the pool. Then I have two sort of wash bags, because it wouldn't all fit in one, so I'll just quickly go through those. Um, so this just pink one, I've got dry shampoo in case I don't feel like showering or washing my hair before I have some visitors because um, obviously parents I'm sure will be there pretty quickly after the birth um, then I just have a hairbrush and comb I have some lavender oil because I'm not sure if our pool allows it but sometimes you can put it in the water pool to help sort of relax you when you're giving birth and it's also good for healing in the bath afterwards more tissues in there just in case deodorant eye cream a nasal spray I've got this because I hate getting too stuffy and if the ward is really hot my nose will get really stuffy so this just helps and I've also got tea tree oil because that's good for healing as well I've heard that afterwards if you've had stitches and you're quite sore to soak a sanitary towel with um, tea tree oil and lavender oil and also witch hazel so I'd, I do want to get some witch hazel as well actually and then I've just got some hair bands and grips in there so that's in that one and then I have this one as well which has my eye makeup remover I know this is a massive bottle but I couldn't find anything to put it into and I can't be bothered to go and buy a small one when I've already got you know this one's just got a little bit left in it so I might as well just take it cotton pads to remove my eye makeup more tissues um, hand sanitizer wipes antibacterial wipes just for toilets things like that my toothbrush shampoo and conditioner my cleanser and a little travel bottle and shower gel toothpaste a scrunchy thing for the shower and a flannel for removing my makeup so that is everything that is in my hospital bag I have also stocked up on Powerades and jelly sweets um, and I just need to get some sort of cereal bars, snack bars to take as well. Um, so I know that is a lot, it seems like an absolute lot for me but on all the lists that I've looked at this is what I need to take. If there's anything you think I really don't need to take and is going to be an absolute waste of time please let me know because I really don't want to take this stuff um, 
but then again I do like to be prepared and again if there's anything that you think I'll definitely need that I haven't included um, let me know as well and obviously as well as all this I'm taking the changing bag with all the baby stuff in it um, so check that out and again let me know if there's anything you think I need in there or don't need in there I will link everything below so my Facebook my blog um, the what's in my baby's changing bag um, everything like that so be sure to check all those links out follow me on Twitter if you want to and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next update